Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'll be showing you guys a dashboard which I made with using HTML and CSS. You can see how these are animated uh, social media icons, how they rotate to 360 angle, how this image is translating f through y axis. Basically, this is a glass morphism dashboard which has a navigation on here. Basically, this is a horizontally navigated dashboard. You can see the buttons over here and this about me and you can see the glass and all the blur which is appearing on the screen I will creating this fully responsive dashboard and I will show you how the image is let's start by making with our HTML and CSS let's start by making the sections and then creating a div of class container inside the div of class container I am creating a header for the header I am creating the href elements and I will give it a z1 text and taking an unordered list and inside unordered list I will create an anchor tags and basically all of the anchor tags first one will have the index.html and also give it a class of active as well so that home or anything will be active and I will style it in my CSS now creating the second element giving it the empty hash and copy and paste it so that I can get my different links about works blog and content contact okay now i can i can show you that this is what i've got so far and now i will be creating after the header i will be creating a div of class content in the div of class content i'm creating a heading 2 i am z1 text web designer and web developer okay and creating an anchor tag with Hash empty and about me. Now I'll create a div of class image box. Inside this, I will create an image and give it a source. You can see I will give uh, give the code of this project in the description as well, so you can get it from there. All the images as well. I'm creating an, another unordered list. You can see I'm getting the image creating an unordered list inside the unordered list also give it a class of SCI signs you can say or SCI creating a list and and creating another anchor tag these anchor tags will have an image source of icons basically all the icons first one will be Facebook icon and closing bracket okay now creating the same thing you can see that I have a Facebook icon at the bottom. Creating, doing the same thing, creating an href empty. Oh, I might, I would have just copied it, but creating the other, taking the other image, giving it a social media icon of Twitter. Now copy it, paste it, give it an Instagram image. Okay, now you can see I have all three icons at the bottom now i am just left with div of class copyright text creating the copyright 2022 all rights reserved designed and developed by z1 text creating and putting that in the anchor tag z1 text now I'm almost done with my HTML and if I want to edit it, I will later on edit it. Now let's move to the style.css. You can see all the icons I have given, I, you have watching at the left. I'll be adding them in my, the description. You can copy them or download them from there. Now basically just clearing up my all of my style.css. Now taking the section, giving it a display of flex. That's why content should be center, align item should be center as well background color should be hash e0 e5 ff min height should be 100 vh background size size should be cover and background position should be center background attachment should be fixed padding should be 50 pixels now you can see everything is at the center also the background color is already changed now I will take the container, now taking the class of container and giving it a position of relative which should be calculate 100% minus 
okay 100 pixels giving it a main height of calculate 100 percent again 100 vh minus 20 to 80 pixels for the height giving it a main height of 300 pixels background should be rgba 255 255 255 and an opacity of 0 0.5 box shadow should be 0 15 pixels 35 pixels RGBA of 0, 0, 0 and 0 0.05 opacity. Glass border radius should be 20 pixels. You might know that I am creating a glass morphism dashboard. So it needs to have some shadow as well. Display of flags, display content space between line item center and padding should be 50 pixels. Now you can see I am getting almost glassy touch or something like that as further we will proceed you will be able to understand it more better giving the position of absolute header giving a top of minus 40 right of 20 pixels left of 20 pixels as well padding should be 20 pixels and 50 pixels display should be flex justify content should be space between Align item should be center. Background should be RGBA of 255, 255, 255 and opacity of 0.2. Box shadow should be 0, 15 pixel, 35 pixel and RGBA of 0, 0, 0 and 0 0.05. Now giving it a border radius of 20 pixels. I will show you now you can see the header, glassy header at the top. I will also give it a black draw filter to be blur it to 10 pixel. Now you will be able to see look at his head. Now it's blurred. The image head. Order should be 1 pixel solid and RGBA of 0 0.255, 255, 255 and opacity of 0 0.25. Border top should be 1 pixel solid and copy it and paste it and change the opacity to 0 0.5 copy it paste it again change border to left for the top and left one now taking the header and inside the header i will take the class of logo give it a color of h 3 a 505a and font weight of 600 Text decoration should be none. Font size should be 1.4 rem. Okay, nothing changes. Let's go back and see. Uh, okay, there's no logo class. And I will add a logo class in here. Class of logo added. Okay, now I have added a class of logo. And I have already styled it. Now you can see Z1 text. Change it, color changed. Now, I will take the class uh, header again and an unordered list display of flex. Now you can see I will remove all these dots on the my list because I don't like them. I will take the header unordered list li giving them list style of none. So to remove that those dots margin of 0 and 10 pixels like that. Now I will copy it, paste it, and I will take anchor tags inside li and give it a text decoration of none. I don't like the underline in between be, below the anchor tag. Giving it, give it a font size weight of 500. Color should be hash 3a505a, which I'm already using. Padding should be 8 pixel and 15 pixel. Border radius should be 25 pixel, like that. You can see now. But whenever we hover over it, it does not change it. So I need to change that as well. So whenever we hover over it, and also active, when it, anyone is active, it should have a background of hash white and a box shadow of 0, 5 pixels, 10 pixels, and RGBA of 0, 0, 0, and 0 0.1, like that. Now, I will copy this content, paste it, 
give it a transform of translate x to minus 100 pixels and min height width of 780 pixels box shadow should be 0 15 pixels 30 pixels and rgba of 0 0 0 and 0 0.1 Box radius, border radius should be 20 pixel. Background drop filter blur thing should be again 10 pixels. Now you can see basically the content box. Give it a border of 1 pixel solid. RGBA of 255, 255, 255 and 0.25 opacity. Now I will simply copy these and paste them it here. I think I don't need to change anything. Okay, and give it a padding of four. Padding of forty pixels. Padding left should be one ten pixels, like that. You can also see the blurring effect. We are now taking the container inside the container there is the heading 2. You can see the container inside the container there is the heading 2. Give it a font size of 2 em and color should be as 3a. The color I am already using in my website basically that color. Now taking the content inside the content there is a paragraph and give it a font size of 1.4 em. Padding should be top should be 15 pixels font weight should be 500 color should be same i am using like that web designer and web developer okay now the content has an anchor tag as well so taking the content and an anchor tag i will give it a display of inline block padding should be 10 pixels and 25 pixels background should be uh, white Color should be uh, which I am using. Margin top should be 20 pixels. Order radius of 30 pixels. Font size of 1.2 em. Font weight of 500. Text decoration should be none to remove the underline. And box shadow should be 0, 5 pixel, 10 pixel, and RGBA of. 0, 0, 0 and an opacity of 0 0.1 like that now just simply copy it paste it and give it an hover effect whenever you hover over it then the background color should change to RGBA of 0, 0, 0 and 0 0.2 opacity and the box shadow should change to 0, 15 pixels 30 pixels and RGBA of 0, 0, 0 and opacity of 0 0.1 like that you can see how whenever I over it, it changes. Now let's take the image box. And inside the image box, let's take the image. Image, image box and taking the image. Now giving it a max width of 300 pixels. Animation animate, I will use this. Animation 8 second linear infinite. Now keyframes and taking that animate because I already declared it, give it a 0% and a 100%. It should translate, transform, translate Y to 50 pixel. And for the 50%, transform, translate Y, transform, translate Y to minus 100 pixel. Okay. Like that. Now you can see it is moving up and down. My image is moving up and down like that now I'm taking the SCI class and give it a position of absolute right should be minus 25 display should be flex justify content should be center align item should be center flex direction should be column like that I don't like those dots as well so I will remove them as well now taking the SCI class inside there there is a li and give it a position of absolute or remove that list style basically none you can see I, now the dots are removed now taking the SCI li and anchor tag give it a text decoration of none and for to move underline or anything width of 50 pixels 
and a height of 50 pixel as well give it a background of white and a justify content should be center line item center as well border radius should be 50 percent margin should be 5 pixels then 0 box shadow should be 0 5 pixel 10 pixel and rgba of 0 0 0 and an opacity of 0 0.1 like that now I will take same class and the, for the same class I will take the, those images and give them a transform scale to 0 0.6 and transition should rotate basically 0 0.7 I will give them a transition in a second copy it paste it basically I need a hover effect so whenever I hover over it, it they should rotate to 360 degrees now transform scale to 0 0.6 and rotate to 360 degrees now you can see whenever I hover over it they rotate to 360 degrees I know they look good right ok now taking the copyright text class and give it a position of absolute bottom should be 30 pixels left should be 550 pixel and color should be which I am using like that now copy it paste it and take the anchor tag give it a text decoration of none to remove the underline give it a color of which I am already using or change it to 5457881 a one copy it paste it whenever I hover over it it should give a color of which I am using like that now I think I need to make it responsive as well so give it taking the max width to 1200 pixels for big screen basically and just changing the container to position relative and width to calculate 800 percent minus 20 pixels I think I should be now like this now changing the media size of media screen for small screens basically less than 1200 pixels I will give it a max width of 992 pixels and for the 992 pixel I am taking the section giving it a padding of 50 pixel and 10 pixel and 10 pixel for the container class flex direction should be column height should be auto padding should be 20 pixel I will show you you might not be able to see it the basically this will key you change whenever I I will now write my code and you will be able to change see the difference now taking the class of container inside the class of container there is a content give it a transform of translate x to 0 pixel max width 200 percent padding should be 30 pixel margin top should be minus 40 pixel now you can see they are gone but you will be, I will make it more responsive now take the header class give it a position of relative flex direction should be column width should be 100 percent top should be minus 60 pixel heading should be 20 pixel right should be 0 left should be 0 as well so whenever I uh, now you can see you are now that you can may you are able to see the header now for the header taking the under unordered list giving it a margin top of 10 pixel and a flex direction reflex wrap of wrap justify content should be center now you can see how these it changes now I will take the header class for the header unordered list and list items giving it a margin of 2 pixel image box and take for the image box margin bottom should be 50 pixel content of anchor font size should be 1 em heading should be 10 pixel and 20 pixel like that basically trying to make everything responsive now I need to change the keyframes animation as well and for the animation 0 to 100% transform translate y to minus 20 pixel for the 50 percent transform translate y to 20 pixel 
So the if scheme size changing, so does the animation. Now taking the SCI class, position should be relative. So the social media icon basically. Flex direction should be row. Left should be zero. You now you, you can see the my social media icons are at the bottom. You can now check. I, as I change the scheme size, it becomes responsive. Now, if you like it, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.